Bills, we are back. Coming at you live at our slightly usual stream time of around 1 o'clock. Um, looking for a game. We're going to play some Nasus before we get back into uh, Spiral Knights. Uh, Nasus being the original juggernaut in League of Legends. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go a ridiculous amount of lifesteal and bring the pain and try and scale the late game. Uh, I did want to do uh, something real quick. I just wanted to give a quick um, call out to the fact that I actually have four followers now on my Twitch stream, which means that there's four people that actually care, which is kind of cool. Um, we've got Not That Hero, my good friend Jason. We have Lord Bruiser, my other good friend Jeremy. We have William Paul, and we also have Pause the Game, all followers of your friendly neighborhood pirate. So, there you go. Progress and popularity. Two things that make everybody happy. Now, we are searching for a game here. We are kind of waiting around. So, with that said... Let's watch this until we find a game. I'll also give you fair warning right now. I actually have a bit of a sinus headache, so my tolerance for crap today is not going to be very high. So, if things go poorly and I devolve into swearing and anger, please forgive me. I'm drinking orange juice, but it's the change in seasons that always does me in. Welcome to the 2016 preseason spotlight. Our big focus this year is making each individual game of League feel unique and awesome. From which masteries you choose, the items you buy, and what marksman you pick, we want your decisions to meaningfully impact how each game plays out. Let's kick things off with the changes to marksmen. Look at that epic Soraka clearing wards. We're adjusting marksmen in preseason to take advantage of their shiny new items. But six champions are getting considerable changes aimed at making them distinct. Quinn's all about map mobility. On practically no cooldown, Quinn can call on her Valor Valet for quick trips around the map. We like to think of her as League's firefighter, able to speedily counter an annoying split pusher or whiz across the rift to help a fleeing ally. It's all in a day's work for Demacia's wings. Just like hunting for a sure piece. Graves demolishes squishy targets, trading range for explosive close combat. His shotgun now acts like one, replacing his basic attack with a blockable spread of buckshot. He's also sporting a new Q, end of the line, which deals heavy damage to enemies trapped near walls or in tight corridors. Don't die yet. <laughs> Corky's damage is the most magical of the marksmen. His basic attacks now split their damage between magical and physical. Plus, he's got a new passive. Every few minutes, Corky's pit crew will drop off a payload at his base, granting him a huge move speed boost and transforming his Valkyrie into an audacious bombing run for some daring teamfight maneuvers. Cogma was always your late game hyper carry. Now he's your late game giga carry. Bio Arcane Barrage doubles his attack speed as well as the attack speed cap, making him the only champion to be able to attack up to five times a second. That does mean the Void Puppy has to stand still to take full advantage of his terrifying attack speed though, so, you know, counterplay. Misfortune's retaking her throne as the Mark's woman to call when you want to win a team fight. Each level in bullet time adds additional waves of bullets, which now scale with crit. We've also loaded her up with a new passive, Love Tap, which gives the bounty hunter bonus damage the first time she attacks a new target. Guns blazing. Last but not least, Caitlyn is the sharpshooting siege master. Yordle Snap Trap now has ammo charges, letting her pack up and move her zone to towers, objectives, or anywhere that might need law enforcement on the fly. 
If an enemy steps on one or you hit them with 90 caliber net, your next basic attack against your victim becomes a super long range headshot. Nowhere to hide. Following up on all these marksman changes, we've tweaked their existing toys and given them some new ones. Similar to our AP item changes earlier this year, we wanted to give marksmen a bunch of itemization options outside of just deal more damage. If you rely on spamming abilities, check out the new Essence Reaver. It doesn't just improve your mana regen, it also grants you additional cooldown reduction based on your crit chance, leading to some ridiculously explosive fights. Meanwhile, Phantom Dancer has some new bonuses that improve its dueling capabilities, and the AoE bolts from Runon's Hurricane can crit, so everyone gets to be Jinx. We're boosting Static Shift's Wave Clear and introducing Rapid Fire Cannon, which charges up to unload a long-ranged, high-damage shot onto a single target. And yes, that also works on structures. There are a ton of items we don't have time to cover, but before we move on, let's talk a little about starting items. Along with Doran's classic collection, we've got a few more added to the mix. Cull provides bonus gold for each minion killed. The Dark Seal provides an aggressive option for those looking to snowball, while new refillable potions give multiple avenues of sustain to fit your particular playstyle. We're making some changes to Vision that make buying and placing wards more of a team-oriented objective and less like upkeep. Supports now have two possible paths to take their gold income items. They can either upgrade into their final form, powerful, active, and all. Alright, that's enough of you carrying my stream for me. Hang on. Let me reset this up, because apparently nobody wants a top lane NASA who qualifies as a fighter. So I'm just going to have to lie and say I'm a tank. They will live. They will die. Very long, my ass. Put me on a team, damn it. <sighs> So I was thinking about doing Teemo instead of Nasus, just because I've been having enough troubles lately that I just want to troll some people, and it'll be way more fun that way. But on the other hand, Nasus is just a rock. Like, I can just sit in top lane and farm as Nasus and then win the game later, because I don't have to care how badly my team fails. It's just as long as they don't fail so badly that they're surrendering in 15 minutes. I have been getting stuck with some real stinkers, though. I'm really hoping that doesn't continue. Like, when you have a good team, you can tell. And this might just be, like, part of, like, the ELO that I'm at, or something like that. I mean, you know, I'm barely into Silver 5. I basically just wanted the border, and then I stopped caring about rank. Ooh, we found a group. But I, I wanted the, the Silver border, and then I stopped caring about rank, so... Wow, this is a tanky ass team. Yeah. Who knows? Next season I might actually care about ranked a bit more, but for right now, I was I knew I wasn't gonna get to gold this season. There's just too much crap going on. And so I wasn't really that worried about it. Next season I might care. Um but The amount of times I've had to deal with other people playing my frickin' champions. We have a Tom Kench. What pressure. Tom Kench, we have a Nautilus, we have frickin' Galio, Varus, and a Nasus. This is gonna be an angry, angry setup. Come on, load up, you stupid. There we go. Come on, load for me. Visuals. Yay, visuals. I gotta say, I'm really proud of my computer. It's a couple of years old, and it's actually handling this whole streaming and playing a game at the same time thing very well. Is that a 
top lane kindred. Is that what I'm about to have to deal with? Is a top lane kindred. Are you kidding me? Are you really serious? Are you? Come on. Top lane kindred. Ugh. Well, on the plus side, she won't be roaming around and getting marks so much. I just have to not let her get fed. Suits and boots, satanic Teemo. Uh, yeah, you're playing Kindred, though, so... God, Kindred's just one of those really annoying champions. That if she gets fed, she's going to tear apart your entire team. Because she does enough burst damage at that point that you can't stop her. If she doesn't get fed, she can still keep her entire team alive. Which is stupid. <laughs> like... I understand certain decisions that Riot makes with their champions. Like, okay, so Rumble is a low-income champion. This means that even if he gets starved, he still has an effective place in the game. But his place in the game doesn't really change if he gets, like... Snowball, too, you know? Like, he's got... You know, his equalizer is good regardless, but if he gets starved out, he's, you know, a little useless there. You know, he, he's not going to be able to tank, and... He's not, he's not going to be able to tank, he's not going to be able to deal too much damage until he sets his equalizer down. So, like, good ultimate use of the equalizer is... Good ultimate use of the equalizer is is you know a comeback mechanic for Rumble, but it only affects. I mean, it does affect team fights, obviously, but you know the the the, the benefit from from it really just affects him. Like, you know, if he he can use the equalizer in a team fight to kind of slingshot himself back into the game, if he can you know pick up a kill or an assist or two with the equalizer in a big team fight. Apparently we're taking this. Yeah, Galio really needs blue buff to start with. I can at least make sure that she doesn't get away from me if she tries to do something stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna stack up that Q. I really did think Galio wanted that blue buff.
curious as to where she went. Oh, there she is. She doesn't seem to be stopping me from farming myself up here. Hey, look, it's Vi. There is such potential in one mortal life. You have wasted yours. <laughs> I like taunting people about their, you know, mortal life when I'm taunting the incarnation of death on Rune Terra. Sorry, are we going to do something about that? Too much lifesteal. So, fun story. <laughs> I'm running like 7.5% lifesteal from Runes and Masteries right now. Plus, Nasus is already kind of bitching high amount of lifesteal to start with. Like, I really don't see myself going down anytime soon. Plus, I've already got 60 sacks. Okay. You did damage to me. Congratulations. Don't have to care. I'm literally sustaining through all of her harass, and I don't have like a. I don't have a Doran's Blade or anything. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Oh, now she's going to focus specifically on me. Okay, whatever. Come on, Nautilus. Hook that bitch. yet to solo shot them. God, I could afford a... I could afford a BF sword on my first bag. Plus some stuff. I'm at full health, you stupid bitch. You really think... Th I mean, I don't have any mana, sure, but you really think this is a good idea? I have enough mana to cane you. You think just because I'm melee in your range that you can harass me. I... I have enough sustain, I just don't care. And that's your... I mean, her skills have a long enough cooldown that I really don't have to care. Mm -hmm. Every time I queue, that number gets bigger. Oh no, I took damage. She probably wants to back soon, because she's like level 7. 
Oh, yeah. walk back to lane at this point, because I'm going to have most of uh, Blood Thurster. Mm -hmm. Or most of an Epsom Trooper, whatever I decide to go for. I'm going to go Blood Thurster, though, just because all that's sustained. Oh, that's a dead Ash. There is no way that Ash survives. And she's going to ward that bush, even though Nautilus just showed bottom, so that was kind of a waste of time on her part. <sighs> as soon as I get this shoved back in, I'm going to go ward up the their jungle a little bit. Thump. Oh wow, I can actually one-shot the caster minions now. I don't know where Kindred went. However, we're gonna get a whole bunch of damage down in our tower. What are you gonna do? Stop me! <laughs> what are we gonna use? That skill that you have? That, you know, doesn't stop me? I have 31% lifesteal right now? Am I getting marked again? I'm getting marked again. Uh, that's adorable. Vi is down in the bottom lane. I think I can do this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do this. Yes, yes I can. Ah, one hit point. Uh, I've got your red buff. Oh wow, it's nine to zero. This is going well for us. That's really all I can say about this so far is that this is going well for us. stacks yet. Not that I know of, at least. And I'm also beating her by a ridiculous amount of CS. And I'm going to go hit her tower. Yep, and now you're stuck over there. And I'm at full health. What are you going to do about it? Oh yeah, that's right. You're not going to do a damn thing. Oh, they took the dragon? Damn. That's not good. I have 
too much health regen, you stupid bitch. And that's her ultimate down. I think I might have been worried for nothing. I probably actually didn't even need to flash that. I probably could have just waited for my uh, E to come up. But yeah, this is pretty much over now. I mean, I have 200 stacks at the 15 minute mark. I'm, that's really good for me. What's our lifesteal percentage? 43% lifesteal. This is gonna suck for you. Flop. Okay, so Varus is legendary. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much done here. Oh, you're gonna take my tower, aren't you? That's just mean. Oh wow, her red is still countered. Love it. Hi! Bye. Do 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 do. Oh, please. I own your jungle. Right now. I do. Don't argue with me. I just do. Two hundred and forty six stacks. We're having a good day. We're going to keep that going. We're going to keep that going with some good old-fashioned 
building destroying violence. Taking chunks out of this thing. Oh, I love it. Nope. And for funsies. Taking your health. Taking your health. Blomp. I'm not trying to escape! <laughs> I really wasn't trying to escape. <laughs> not sure why they stopped me from escaping. <laughs> I'm also at full health again. Like, that's... That's how nasty a split pusher this guy is. When you build him like this. My health? It's not your health. What are you talking about? My Krugs, not your Krugs. <laughs> Aw, and then they frickin' surrender. Oh well. Ah, a dominating performance. Although I gotta say that was probably more due to the 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 terribleness that was that kindred, like just bad, bad kindred. Wow, they only got three kills in the entire game, and it was not me, and it was not. <laughs> So, good job, guys. Uh, damage dealt to champions. Yeah, he beat me. But damage dealt overall. I'll beat him. <laughs> and, and the healing done. Yeah. Because apparently life steal doesn't count as healing done. Uh. All right, so here's what we're going to do. With that done and out of the way and my, you know, faith in myself well and good restored, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be playing some Spiral Knight.